Howard Carter was born in Kensington on May 9, 1874, the youngest of 11 children. His father, Samuel John Carter, nurtured his artistic talents, and his mother, Martha Joyce Carter, played a significant role in his upbringing. His interest in Egyptology was sparked by the Egyptian antiques at the nearby Didlington Hall. Lady Amherst, the owner of the mansion, recognized his talent and encouraged him to pursue his passion. In 1891, she facilitated his involvement in the excavation of Middle Kingdom tombs at Beni Hassan, under the tutelage of Percy Newberry. Howard's innovative techniques in copying tomb decoration caught the attention of Flinders Petrie. In 1899, Howard was appointed Inspector of Monuments for Upper Egypt, overseeing excavations and restorations in Thebes. He also supervised the systematic exploration of the Valley of the Kings by Theodore Davis. In 1902, he embarked on his own search in the Valley of the Kings, where he quickly discovered stone steps leading towards a tomb. These steps ultimately led to the well-preserved tomb of Thutmose IV. Howard's career took a turn in 1905 when he became involved in the Saqqara Affair, a violent confrontation between Egyptian sight guards and French tourists. Remaining loyal to the Egyptian personnel, he refused to apologize, which led to his resignation from the Antiquity Service. He supported himself through painting and freelance work until Lord Carnarvon offered him the opportunity to excavate nobles' tombs in Deir el Bari. It was in 1922 that Howard uncovered his most significant find, the intact tomb of Tutankhamun. After years of searching, he stumbled upon a stone that revealed an entrance to the tomb. With the support of Lord Carnarvon, they began the excavation. On November 26, 1922, Howard made history as he peered through a small breach in the tomb's door and discovered the treasures within. Over the next decade, Howard meticulously catalogued and conserved the contents of Tutankhamun's tomb, ensuring their preservation for future generations. Despite the significance of his discovery, he received no recognition from the British government. However, he was honored by King Fuad I of Egypt, awarded a Doctor of Science degree by Yale University, and invited to lecture in various countries. He continued to live in Egypt and London and died on March 2, 1939, leaving behind a lasting legacy in the field of Egyptology. That was a glimpse into Howard Carter's life. Comment to suggest new story. Like and follow for more.